Ah, we have this courtesy of Hypebeast. Carhartt, Whip, and Le, Le Art de Automobile. Le Automobile. Le Art de Automobile. The, what, the art of the car, right? Launches first ever Carhartt collaboration. Carhartt. So, this is the following Carhartt, Whip, and Arthur Cars Paris based lifestyle and auto brand dealer Le Art de Automobile have announced their first ever collaboration titled Carhartt. Who is this Arthur Car? Is that, that's obviously one of Virgil's friends that loves buying vintage stuff and has his own little showroom, museum, whatever he has. But is he kind of the son of some oil tycoon or some arms dealer or something? Has he, how does a regular person get a hold of these, you know, um, 99. Uh, these early 90s uh, Porsches and all this sort of shit and souped up BMWs and all this sort of, and Alfa Romeos. Who gets all this stuff? Is it, do you have to be a regular person or is it, again, like I said, is he the son of some sort of oil baron? But then again, it has to be said, like I always say, Virgil Abloh might be the greatest friend um, anyone could have in fashion, point blank. Anyone that comes within his orbit gets a career. You get a career, you get a career, you get a career, you get a brand, you get a brand right you get consultancy you get a firm you get an agency everybody everybody gets a look that's one of his superpowers you can think what you want to think about his designs and some of the stuff that he says in interviews and his word salad things whatever he does on his captions whatever you want to say whatever you want to say undeserving of a sport at Louis Vuitton say what you want but the one thing about Virgil he is not stingy of his platform he is not stingy of his clout right he's the most opposite of that when it comes to clout he gives it out he retweets people on his flipping instagram stories he shares good stuff that he likes online he's tagging people like he's he goes above and beyond to make sure that everyone that comes in his orbit or comes close to him gets as much of a shine off of what he's doing you know as as possible and i love the fact that when he's doing his shows he's always tagging his friends bringing them into a showroom and making it he basically kind of purposely because from what I've done, again, from the little I've done in fashion and from the little I've done in streetwear, I know how important it is to, for, to have certain looks, right? To be standing certain places, to be seen at certain events, to have your name tagged on certain things, to be sent certain stuff. Like, it's very important for perception. And it also allows you just to make some money, right? To get those corporate sponsors and those brands to come in and maybe, you know, allow you to kind of improve your production. Like, for instance, look at Heron Preston. Heron Preston was always going to be a success, I think, because he's a bit of a hustler. I met him years ago in new york and he always kind of had a very entrepreneurial mindset he was always kind of getting after it kind of took after what aaron bondroff did with the new york thing never not working turn your lifestyle into a job um you know so and so lifestyle, lifestyle into a job whatever that phrase used to use right he really took that to heart and did everything he could to make sure that he kind of was living this creative entrepreneurial design-led life but most of the kind of success he's had so far has been because you know virgil tapped him in with the new guards group to do his production of his brand and now look at him he's I mean, everything he was doing prior, but now at a higher level, right? He's producing capsule collections. He's, you know, doing footwear now at the moment. Like, loads of cool stuff is occurring because of that association with Virgil. And again, this brand might not go anywhere, right? This this brand he's got where he put he emblazes cars and stuff onto stuff. I've always been a bit skeptical about wearing um, clothing based on kind of honoring or paying a homage to certain automobiles especially when you don't own them i look at that whole lamborghini and supreme thing i guess lamborghini the brand is bigger than what the car is but it just seems a bit corny to be like sitting on a bus somewhere wearing a lamborghini supreme t-shirt you know what i mean it just fills me with dread but again like i said virgil still is the greatest friend you could have in streetwear or in fashion it continues here it says for his collection cars inspired by carl webb's detroit heritage and carhartt's inc's early history and producing his own car his own cars, really. They produced their own car in 1911. Carhartt combines uh, design sensibilities of Carhartt Whip and uh, our drive staples as a young man. Oh, look, he's doing the old bluff, isn't it? He's giving him a bit of PR to rewrite the narrative. Here we go. As a young man, Carr said uh, he skipped school to help his father fix cars. What, cars of rich oil barons or his own cars? Um, he was constantly surrounded by his classic mechanic uniform. The collection takes on Carr's fondest memories, reworking a Michigan coat and single knee pant to the capsule's green palette. The capsule is complete with functioning mini wrench keychain branded with Le Art de auto, le Automobile. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Le Art de Le Art de Le Automobile. Le Art, I don't know how you pronounce it. The capsule's green color tones act as a nod to the forests of Lebanon. <laughs> the green is my forest in Lebanon. The white is from the purity of my mom's eyes. 
uh, or when she was, you know, sprinkling flipping flour on the surface in the morning when she was cooking bread, uh, you know, the night after my dad elbowed her in the eye. <laughs> uh, the question is rounded out with two graphic tees, a slew of accessories, gadgets, including a Naglan water bottle, two cups. Each features an exclusive Carhartt motif. Yep, definitely when you go into a garage, you see someone with a plastic bottle, don't you? Uh, Carhartt Whip and Automobile Collab is set to release in the US on February 27th. In stores in Los Angeles and online on the, whatever that date is, time for February 25th. The little video here, let's play a bit of that. Hope he hasn't got the copyrighted music in it. Come on, play. Play! Oh, God. Why is not playing? Why are you not playing? Come on, let's go to the web, car website. See, maybe it's not playing on there because it's a. Uh, it want it kind of wants to push you over there, right? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. There's a bit. Let's see what it says. Don't have any copyright music, please. Don't have any copyright music, please. Don't have a copyright music, please. Let's see here. It's a video here somewhere, right? Skip, skip, skip. The stuff looks good, I think. Okay, wrong one. That's the one here. This is the video. Do I have any copyright music, please? Okay, cool. Oh, Brodinski made it. Okay, nice. Yeah, man, it's cool. It's I, you know, I get it. It's good. Like I said, man, get next to Virgil, be a millionaire. So let's, say, let's skip the slideshow here. Let's see what they got. The jacket looks pretty decent, not going to lie. Um, but again, you know, car jackets are flipping staples. They always look good. You can you can basically put a bit, you know, put a shit emoji and it'll look decent too. I like the t-shirt. The cap is quite nice. Yeah, it's decent. Don't get me wrong. It's quite good. I'm not going to lie. It's quite nice. That's screen printed on though, right? It's not, embroid it's not embroidered. So that will probably end up peeling off over time. I'm sure they've maybe improved their process in terms of screen printing on such a canvasy material but i'm not really you know i don't know about that and a little it's funny isn't it the kind of working class themes that kind of run through a lot of the streetwear brands right the kind of um uh what is it from working class sort of like manual labor sort of thing going on when the majority of kids are wearing this sort of shit haven't seen a wrench in their entire life don't know what a screwdriver is probably can't even change the tire on their own bicycle if it goes flat do you know what I mean but there's this kind of obsession with having you know um what do you call it like fire you know brigade uniforms police uniform tactical vest like you know stuff that builders would wear there is this kind of tactile wanting to get back to the core of what it means to be a man hero's journey sort of shit but really like i said day in day out these kids are just on their phone you know installing bots on computers all over the world and buying up all the edge all ones in, in existence and then getting their parents fired that's what they're into that's what they're really really into yeah, it looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie, man. It looks decent. It looks cool. But like I said, if this didn't exist, would anyone care? Probably not. But again, stand next to Virgil. Be a millionaire. He is the greatest friend anyone could ever have. This is what I mean. If, if anyone's turned, if anyone stabs this guy in the back, you definitely deserve some time in hell because he helps out everybody. But again, check it out if you're that way inclined. It is there. Carhartt. Carhartt. Have you actually pronounced that? Check it out if you're that way inclined.